if you're wondering why I'm framing in with 2x3 wood, that's because the aluminum structure of the trailer is actually not that strong by itself. It's really flexible. It's strong enough to hold its shape and hold itself together, but to actually mount anything or put any type of interior in, it's just not strong enough. So we use two by threes to frame in anywhere and everywhere I needed some support. And truth be told, I went a little too crazy on this. I think I could have shaved a couple hundred pounds off the trailer by not using as much as I actually did. But lesson learned. Artech foam boards and anywhere between half an inch to an inch and a half are all just dependent on what was the appropriate thickness in that particular place. After that we used Reflectix tape to tape up any seams in between the wood frame and the uh, insulation boards. After that, we used a Revolution Ply 5mm. Um, it's a polywood. It's actually painted on one side um, for being mildew resistant. storage compartment for anything that may or may not be wet depending on when it rains when you pack up. We used the uh, plastic wall panels again, the stuff you would use for commercial kitchens. We This is the same stuff that we use to make the belly sheet of the trailer. To reinforce any of the storage compartment corners we used aluminum angle. And then we sealed it all with Gorilla multi-purpose construction aggressive.
Framing the entire interior actually took a solid three months. And we started with the first kitchen cabinet right off the door and worked our way back into the master bedroom, made sure we had enough room for the queen bed itself, and then just started framing everything in on the driver's side, um, trying to give us as not much room as possible to do the bathroom, Braxton's room, and then the um, living room in the front. To say there was a lot of measurements, a lot of cuts, and a lot of trying to figure out how to get the most out of your material is a bit of an understatement. So to save you a little bit of time, let's just leave the video at this. Thanks for watching and happy travels.